Hey, 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 hey. I couldn't wait to go live, so I'm early. I'm eight minutes early. Happy, happy, happy Sunday, everyone. Um, for those of you who are here for the first time, this is Claudia. I go by the name of Christelle as well. My children call, call me Christelle. Um, I have here uh, everything ready for you know who, who came to me and said, I want to talk, I want to talk, I want to talk. When I start channeling, I will be covering the, uh, my face so I can concentrate better. And um, we'll go through your questions um, one at a time or as many as we can take and as many as he wants to, to take. Um, there is um, just a few, you know, I'm let, waste a little time before we start and tell you that in a couple of weeks, I'm going to start the second season of my, my consciousness classes, movement consciousness, voice consciousness, and breathwork consciousness. The first lesson is always free. There is a package of four you purchase, very inexpensive, $40. We use them as you wish. You don't have to go every week. And you write to me at this address to book your free lesson and will and tell me where your time zone is. And like I said, in a couple of weeks, I'll be starting that up again. So I'm so excited to have the second season going with all of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited because it was just so wonderful to work with people moving the voice and the breath work. It's phenomenal. It's, I use the Feldenkrais method. I'm a Feldenkrais practitioner. And uh, the method is a mind-body somatic method. Um, now, let me, and he's, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's saying, come on, come on, get the show on the road, get the show on the road, get the show on the road. So let's start. Without further ado, I know there are six minutes left and a lot of people have not come, but let's start. Okay, now let's go with the questions. All right. Thank you. Thank you for all your wishes. Thank you for all your wishes I'm going through. Let's see. All right. Ready? Let's start. Uh, who do you see the next USA president? Before you see a USA president, you will see the war worsening in Ukraine. This is the true question you should be asking. And there will be, of course, a new president, but it is of no consequence because the problems continue to exist and worsen. Okay, thank you, Gary. I'm going to go and try not to put them on the board and let's see. Um, all right. Rest assured that I am ready to talk. You ask, what did I want to talk about? Well, first and foremost, I want to thank you all for the infinite love that brings you together when you bring thoughts to me. And apart from those of you who continue to want revenge, 
which is essentially a negative emotion, there is much love. And I want to thank you for all this love. The next important thing I want to say is that my family has been trying to contact me and also a woman who I have had a relationship with. I will not name her because it was not common knowledge. So what I want to say to her is that it was love, true love, but it ended. And I have no explanation for the ending because things happen. And when they happen, everyone scratches their head because they forget that life means change and that we need to be grateful for all we have been given. Ah, well, that's a mystery woman. I didn't expect that. Um, Kaula, I am very, very well. I hope you are the same. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, let's go back and listen to what he has to say about karma. Karma. Janu asks if everything is happening according to karma. No, it does not. Of course, the notion of karma is very strong in the minds of humans. And they believe that all things that occur to them must be the result of some form of direct action they take. In truth, much of it is this way, but not all of it. I say this because when we communicate with the divine, what you call as prayers, affirmations, invocations, anything to communicate with spirits or more specifically the divine, this creates energy that is attracted to you that has intensities that cannot be matched by any notion of karma. I understand this definition may be abstract for you, but just realize that I am saying there is an unknown quantity, an unknown factor in your life that is not accounted for. And you can gauge that energy 
and expand it through your prayers, invocations, affirmations, and communication with the divine. Shri asks, have you evolved since your passing? No. Love, I have not because I was already evolved. There is a reason why all of you were so influenced by me. And I do not mean I was a walking divinity, but my soul was evolved. There are many, many souls on earth whose energy is highly evolved and their souls are highly evolved, but they do not use this. Just remember, lovely people who listen to me, only remember that evolution occurs on earth. When you are here, you can reincarnate and further evolve on earth in that lifetime. I hope this was clear for you. Please do not ask for justice. Like I said, it will bring you negative energy. When we speak of energy and you ask questions about love, about work, and about resolution of issues, I need to explain that much of what happens is directly linked to the choices you make and to your willpower. Such is the case for bad habits or bad decisions, they can be overturned with your will power. No, no, Kalki, I am not. I am very happy to respond to the question about my success in my career and my goal. The key is always believing in what you are doing. This is how I achieved success, but I did not have success as a goal. My prime goal in that lifetime was to please others and give them pleasure and do that in the best way I knew how.
You ask about showing me your love. I do see it, and this is why I wanted to speak. But the best way you can show me your love is by not requesting revenge, but by invoking divine presence and sharing your love. That is the most important thing a human can do. As for me, I don't ask you to do anything for me because I am a big boy. I have big boy pants on. This is a joke, of course, but joking aside, I here do not need anything, but thank you so much for your thoughts. A world order, you ask. Is there a world order? The world has an order created by man, and every government or governments that band together to create a specific power may be considered a world order. But one world order does not exist, but several indeed do. Just be patient when I now answer a question about suicide. There are souls that commit suicide and you ask if they will be punished or suffer or be in peace. They will indeed be in peace. Unfortunately, world religions create cultural traditions that are very strong and only they are a bit like metaphors. I am not joking when I say that a person who commits suicide will be in peace and will not suffer. They will not suffer as compared to a soul who is killed unexpectedly and remains earthbound. They are souls who suffer primarily because they do not know they have passed and there is no realm of communication for them. I am not trying to offend anyone's beliefs, but I ask you to be open when thinking of the afterlife. When you ask about your place 
on a scale of ascension, the question itself is a bit funny for me to read because a soul, like I said, evolves on earth. It ascends only after death. I must say that so, so many of you continue to feel my presence, but are doubtful it is me. Please be advised, it is indeed me. You may ask why I come. It is quite simple you know. Your thoughts are the most powerful things in terms of attracting everything to you. And remember this when you have negative thoughts. I am speaking now to all of you because it seems that there is a barrier of some sort that it is difficult to pierce through. I need to salute you in your desire to communicate with me. But I must also scold you because you seem to be unable. This is a mystery to me because you go and come so close to communication directly with me and out of a tinge of fear, you fall short of this higher communication. When you say things are not working for you, I need to repeat to you that only try to communicate directly with the divine and your guides, invocation, prayers, and affirmations are the key here, but chanting aloud and guttural song, guttural sounds will allow you to move closer to divine communication. Just take a little bit of a break here. He has, um, it's almost as if, sorry about that noise, it's almost as if he's trying to get through to us so adamantly because, you know, like, he's actually going like, like that, you know, his arms flailing around, trying to make us understand that we are so powerful as beings, so, so powerful. And it is, our life is guided by our thoughts and our actions. Okay, let me get back to Sushant. Mm -hmm. 
You ask about numbers. Love. Numbers repeated are serious business. They are direct communication from your guides. And you can call them spirits, guides, angels. It is the same. They are spiritual beings that try to impulse you. Especially your guides, your own guides do this when you need to get a message. He's saying to me, tell them, t tell them that I am hiding. I don't want you to know where I reincarnated because I would be very upset if you came to visit me and find me. It would disorient my new life. You ask about healing and healing a twin flame. You cannot heal a flame. You can heal yourself and another soul needs to seek their own means to heal. I am very adamant when I say that it is so short your life, so very short, that you need to give thanks and feel gratitude for the short amount of time you spend with what you call another soul or a flame. Do not expect too much from another soul. This will end the relationship. You ask how I see humans. I see you as you see yourself in the mirror. I especially see my family often and always look at them. It is not important for me to see a beautiful person or a thin person or a fat person. This is not what I see. I see energy, and energy has a color and an aura around a human body. This is what I see. But you too, as humans, can also see the same. I want you to think a moment about a purpose, your purpose, your life's purpose. What is the purpose of your life on earth? This is very simple to respond. 
on a general plane, in general terms. Souls incarnate and come to earth to experience emotions. This is the answer for all of you. Of course, this means both what you consider positive and what you consider negative. This is what life is about. If you do not experience emotions, you are not living. Three people ask about souls that have passed and if they are in peace. All three are resting in peace. Yes. Can you do me a favor? Just tell my family that I am very much in peace and feel so much lightness of being here. It is a special experience to have a an energy presence in a realm that is not the heaviness of the earth if anyone can communicate to my family please tell them I am in joy and in peace. Also, tell them I am always around them. Also, I want to tell you that I will come back to again speak with you when it's necessary for me to do this. Again, thank you for all of your love. Goodbye. Ah. Well, that was, can we say short but sweet? And it was very, like I said, very adamant. Um, I do hope, you know, it's hard for me to understand, but I think he got around to certain questions and of course not all of them, but just one, I always have to go listen to these videos again. Uh, one last plug for these lessons, uh, consciousness, breathwork, movement, and voice. There are three different and um, three different packages. Write to me to book your first free lesson in a couple of weeks, towards the end of uh, the month of September, I will be starting again. Namaste, ladies and gentlemen. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.